At least three cases of drug trafficking at Entebbe International Airport are reported to the international police every week. Many of those arrested are foreigners who are often in transit. I think it's heroin. How many kilograms? How many kilograms? This is six kilograms. Six? And yeah. the other one? Six. Those are 12 kilograms. Yeah. They usually employ high intelligent means of securing the drug in order to beat the airport security. Some even risk swallowing the pellets, which they later release once at their final destination, while others hide them in their luggage, in fruits, vegetables, and foodstuffs. So for you, when you're checking now, your naked eye is going to stop here. These continuous arrests at the national airport have triggered questions as to why many of these drug mules prefer to go through Entebbe. Mm -hmm. The director of Interpol in Uganda, Asan Kasinje, seems to have an answer to this. Kasinje insists that although a lot has been done to stop trafficking, the law on the anti-narcotics is to blame for turning the airport into a transit point. So, in as far as China is concerned, you know, if you got probably the maximum sentence is death, I'm not saying they should be given death, but a maximum of one million shillings in our, in our courts of law on the drugs which are costing billions of shillings, probably billions of dollars, millions of dollars, then the motivation for somebody to traffic uh, drugs through Entebbe airport is high. There have also been reported allegations that the drug carriers have established a relationship with those at different security points, an issue that Kasinje has not denied. Yes, I will tell you that uh, previously at our airports and the uh, other places, yes, detection of uh, people corroding has ever been detected. And we have take, taken administrative and other measures. Yes. There is no doubt that some mules have over the years learned how to beat the security. Kasinja blames these few cases on laxity of those at the security points. Personal commitment must be there, and I'm not going to flip it over as if it doesn't happen. And until when we all become serious about, about um, laxity of some people, if they don't want to do their jobs, please, there are other Ugandans, other young people who want to do this job. Let them give us a break and they leave this place. The Interpol boss also wants government to improve on the security system at the airport to tighten the nose against the crime. Police also says that at least 95% of the culprits have been captured and brought to book. Solomon Seruanja, NTV.